Hi, Paul C here for PeaceMeg TV. In today's quick tip for Reaper, I'm going to show you a way of clearing up your interface when you're dealing with large projects. Now it's very easy to end up with numerous tracks that when you come to the mixing stage can be slightly overwhelming trying to find all the different individual tracks you want to work with. So you can see that I've got a project open that has probably around 30-35 different individual tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can hide various parts of this quickly and easily. So I've got my mixer panel docked and you can see I've got a couple of tabs on the bottom left hand corner I'm going to switch between the various different windows that I've got specified in my docker. So what I'm going to do is just make sure I've got the mixer tab selected. I'm going to right click on the mixer tab and I'm going to choose clickable icon for folder tracks to show hide children. Long title. But what that does is that creates these individual little arrows that specifies that there are child tracks inside. Now these little arrows are only on the parent tracks. So if you don't use parented and uh, child tracks, then you're not going to see these. But I do, and I recommend that you do. So what you need to do is if you click on one of these arrows, it'll just hide all the child tracks and show only the parent. So you can quickly and easily streamline your interface to show only the sections that you want to work with. So if I want to work on the drum tracks without being distracted by all of the other guitar, vocals and bass and anything else you may have on your track, I can just expand that and now I've got a streamlined mixer panel that's only really showing me the individual tracks for my drum kit. Same goes if I want to just work with my guitars, I can just come back in and I can expand and contract those quick and easy just to give me a simple most complicated interfaces I want to work with. Well, that's my little quick tip for Reaper. If you found this useful, please hit the subscribe option below. If you like it, like the video. If you've got any comments or feedback, please leave those in the comment section below. And if you've got ideas for tutorials or tips that you'd like to see in the future, by all means, please pop those in the comment section below and we'll take a look at creating videos for you. Until next time, happy mixing and take care.